Hello students, welcome back. So now uh, we will be looking at cylinders. So previously I did mention that uh, mathematically cylinders actually work uh, very similarly to um, a prism. The only difference is that instead of a cross section of a polygon, we have a cross section that is circular in shape. Okay, so you can see it is like a prism, but it is not because uh, a circle is not defined as a polygon. So they are quite different, right? Uh, however, in, our, in terms of our calculation, when it comes to the volume, it follows the same idea. It is the area of the cross section times the height. So the cross section is circle. Therefore, okay, area of circle is pi r square. We are quite familiar times the height h. And that's why uh, we can actually remember it quite easily. Volume of cylinder is pi r square h, right? Now, the total surface area of a cylinder, how does it look like, right? So when we open up the cylinder and look at the net of the cylinder, you can see okay, we have two circles and in the center, it is the, it's a rectangle. And the length of this rectangle, right, is actually the circumference of the circle, right? They actually do match up. You can try with a piece of paper, roll it up and take a look, right? So the length of this rectangle is actually the uh, circumference and the circumference is 2 pi r. This one we are aware. Therefore, okay, using the same idea, the total surface area of a cylinder is 2 times the base area plus the curved surface area, which is the area of the rectangle, area of two circle, right? So it'll be 2 times the pi r square, which is a circle, plus, right, uh, the rectangle will be the length times the breadth. And the breadth, take a look again, the breadth is actually the thickness or the height of this cylinder. Okay, and this is how we can actually go about finding the uh, total surface area of a cylinder. Alright, okay, so with this uh, understanding, uh, but of course, uh, here, this is actually good enough. I, I do understand that there are some students who prefer to, you know, take out the um, common factor and write it in this form, right? Okay, take out 2 pi r and then we have r plus h it, it works too right so either either way of uh, writing the formula as long as it helps us to solve the uh, problems uh, efficiently it's good enough right so moving on ah good question here what do we mean when we say a cylinder is open or closed sometimes when we look at word problems you see that they mention that the cylinder is open or closed it is open means uh, one instead of having uh, two circles one of the circle is actually open right so you only have uh, the base one base instead of two bases when it's closed we have two bases right so by default it is a closed uh, cylinder uh, if they specify that it's open then we will just consider one base okay let's look at the practice question so here we have the volume of a cylindrical can of pineapple juice right we are given the volume uh, 1000 uh, cubic centimeter so that's one liter and the diameter of the base is 12 okay so they want us to find the height well we know the formulas we just need to apply and use it accordingly right we know that pi r square h is equals to 1000 that is the volume right so from here uh, we also know that the uh, radius right so this this here means r equals to 6 huh? take note Sometimes we got to read the question carefully because the radius is half the diameter. So in this case, pi 6 square h is equal to 1000. So h is equal to 1000 divided by pi divided by 6 square uh, will work out to be 8.84 centimeter rounded off to three significant figures. Right? Uh, second part of the question, they ask us to find the total surface area uh, so let's go. Total surface area, just again apply the formula. So the total surface area is going to be 2 times the circle, the base, the cross section, right? So 2 pi r square plus 2 pi, uh, then we have the r, which is 6 in this case, and we have the length. 8.84 now take note in my working i used 8.84 you should have uh, a more significant figures on stored on your calculator use that value instead so you work it out it will be 560 centimeter square rounded off to three significant figure right so that's uh, how we can solve this question 
Right, part B, part B is interesting. Part B, we have a pipe of a radius 0 0.6 centimeter discharge petrol at the rate, etc. Right, so find the volume. So what happened is uh, we first we want to find you know, the length of the petrol that actually came out from the pipe. Right, but before that, let's let's also take note of the units because you can see the unit centimeter here. This is in meters. Down here is per second. We have three minutes. So we need to actually get them to be uh, aligned, right? So um, let's sort out the units first. So we have 2.45 meters per second, right? Uh, this is actually 245 centimeter per second. So maybe we, we make it into a centimeter. So it's easier to compute. And we also know that three minutes is actually 180 seconds. So let's get that one out of the way. Let's not confuse ourselves. So our units are now synchronized. Then now we can um, try to answer the question. So you imagine the petrol that's coming out in the pipe. It is a cylinder. It, it does uh, make sense, right? So the length of the cylinder, okay, the length of the cylinder that comes out is going to be 245 centimeter per second times the number of seconds, right? which comes out to 4, 4, 1, 0, 0 centimeter, right? So we have a, we have, these are the petrol that's coming out, right? This length over here is 4, 4, 1, 0, 0 centimeter, okay? So that's what we have. Uh, now we need to find the volume. Uh, we do know that the radius of the pipe is 0 0.6 is given, okay? Therefore, the volume, right, is going to be pi r square times the h which is 44100. We work this one out. It will be 4, um, 49875.92, etc. Uh, but this is in uh, cubic centimeter. So they want it in liters. So we need to divide by 1,000. So that gives us 49.9 .9 liters rounded off to three significant figures. All right. Okay, so... Uh, there will be end this section. We will continue next section where we will talk about pyramids.